understand. Uh, I believe that it can improve the uh, quality of life and the uh, economic development of uh, the solar group even more if we use additional uh, green technologies in the different villages in Nepal. I'm not going to one village at a time. And what we really need in this poor country is sustainable development. We solve all these big problems we have in Nepal with water, health, nuclear, solar, and poverty, the environment. And particularly, we need to empower families and women and the, uh, the forgotten groups of the, uh, of the disabled. Thank you. So, this is a this problem, as you know, that the picture will set it all. You know, we haven't gone far away, a hundred pounds of fuel wood, deforestation and landslides are the result. It's a big burden. The other problem with the with solar co is cooking, uh, the uh, indoor air pollution, uh, and the women uh, and children always exposed to this, burn victims and all the uh, very inefficient stoves. So the solution that comes up every morning in Nepal, about nine months uh, in the year, every morning. And in uh, Nepal, uh, there's a little bit of subsidy for the SK-14 uh, parabolic cooker and for a specific solar box cooker. Okay, if there's no sunshine, of course the rocket stoves come to the rescue. It's a very uh, efficient fuel wood stove, uh, which is less than half the amount of regular uh, stoves in the, in the villages. Uh, in this particular case, also the, uh, the woman here added her heat retaining box to, to finish up the Taoba, the rice and lentils uh, meal in there. That's like a second uh, a pit on your stove. And uh, this is really interesting in the, uh, in the Puna regions. Uh, these uh, heat retaining baskets are being used all the time, also by villagers who have the SK-14. Uh, we can solve this problem of unsafe water very easily by just using uh, solar cookers or uh, any solar water pasteurizers which have been made in Nepal. And in Nepal we can even make the, the wapis. Uh, they don't have polycarbonate tubing, but we use seeds from ballpark pads and then cut them up and I donate this uh, wax powder. Solar cooking is another technology that is very popular, uh, power ribbon, because it's a much better product rather than throwing the fruits and vegetables on the ground. Now it is in the solar, in the solar uh, dryer, and they can sell this stuff in the off season, so money can be made, so a power ribbon. Another uh, program we started doing uh, eight years ago is the, uh, 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 another foundation of sustainable technologies in Nepal. Uh, after the agricultural season is over, uh, people burn it on the fields quite often. Now we're able to collect this uh, agricultural waste, chop it up in small parts, soak it in water, and then press it in these uh, uh, briquette presses here. And we will become market entrepreneurs, selling this on the market. And uh, actually, Foundation of Sustainable Technologies got the BBC World Challenge Award uh, for this program, and it's very popular uh, in Nepal now. Uh, also to, to make, take care of the, the forgotten groups, the disabled people who could not handle the leverage press. Um, this is the new design now, it's a screw press. It's even, even less expensive. Uh, light is another a basic need, you need this. You know. So in order to solve the problem of uh, toxic lamps and smoking wood porches, uh, this fellow is making some LED lights. And here you can see a villager uh, charging up the battery inside these double uh, light emitting guide lamps in the daytime so that in the evening uh, the kids can do their homework, finish school, and they can do some income generation type of uh, work as well. Uh, I also uh, try to look for opportunities to demonstrate and teach at the clubs or public areas, particularly schools. We can actually uh, teach them and uh, make sure to kids as well. To start these programs in the villages, we show all these different technologies I'm talking about. Uh, probably a couple of times cooked food, and then have meetings with the, uh, with the uh, village leaders and so on. We do some household surveys to see if they are interested in doing this. And if they are, I make the training workshops in group uh, and as well as individual basis. And it's always very important to follow up on these projects. We are fighting poverty in this country by actually making these things locally. And if there's profit to be made, it, uh, it will lead to a sustainability. 
Okay, it's Sam Walter, Rotary Matching Brand in Allenbrook Village. Again, the, 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 uh, the, the households that uh, choose their devices they want, and by the way, you always have to pay a little bit of money And that we are adding vocational training, uh, I think that is very key to many of these projects there. Vocational training in carpentry, uh, metalworking, and also small business kids. And this actually interests the two business because the villages were a different cast, male and female. And then at the end of the program, uh, there's an equipment distribution to all the villagers and some that are made local. <laughs> Another example of a local matching grant in the remote area of Gatline, very good and backwards. You know, uh, life has not changed since 25 years ago when I was in the same area. A very interesting girl journey, and there is a real potential for people to, to visit there as long as they solve these, these problems. <laughs> Again, the power room is the key. We also installed uh, pipes so that the wind don't have to blow up these lungs to get the water, uh, repair water taps, and mm -hmm. replace these, these uh, cooking fires with the solar cookers and the rocket stove. We are doing some training. And then again, to uh, reduce that poverty, uh, homestay would be a great thing to have. And again, teaching vocational skills. So a group of 15 uh, men came down to uh, the roof to, uh, to get carpentry and making the solar cookers as well as solar fires. And then another group went to get them to do the metal working and you can see the progress showing their significance. And then the distribution of devices to the villagers is always a heavy location. Rocket stove, they rock, rotary rocks as well. Uh, heat containing boxes, solar dryers, and uh, you know the little tip of coffee here. From day one I uh, promoted eco-tourism. And we talk to national parks and also to lodge keepers to, uh, to save fuel wood by having sun rooms and also install solar water heaters because uh, <coughs> tourists always want to have their showers. I also developed this uh, address cooker, very lightweight. This is a Mandarin's base camp for an expedition to the uh, the uh, cleaning of the mountain. And my backpack trackers were very really useful to. Uh, demonstrate very quickly to put rise to uh, on the tracking routes. So demonstrating this to uh, watch keepers that you can actually cook with the sun. And then uh, also what it did is trying to find out how do you use your fuel? Okay, how much fuel do you use? So like a typical watch where 10 people would stay and 10 would go through. It's like 40 kilograms of wood and of course the cook is about 50% of this uh, uh, lodges, and then how much for drinking water, how much for space heating, and uh, for the hot water showers. And it turns out that in less than three months, two months, uh, one SK14 uh, will pay for itself. Okay. And so this looks like uh, great potential also for uh, a clean uh, development mechanism. Um, okay, so there's extensive use of uh, SK14s. And the other regions and, and so forth and, and, and I was the happiest guy in the world when I got this picture from Tava Stephen Sherpa when he brought my uh, backpack so I put on top of my Everest his Tibet in the background. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Thoughts or lessons learned. I believe that if you can show more uh, more to look more uh, choices to the villagers then uh, progress in these green technologies and uh, the other part is difficult to get profit in the small businesses to encourage small businesses that sustainability will fall. Villages always have to pay a little bit of money for these devices and if you don't have money then uh, they, then they, they uh, in kind stuff like planting trees and so forth. And in these rotary projects you need a good club on the other end to be a very good cooperative organization in the country, such as the Foundation of Sustainable Technologies, Engineers of South Borders, Nepal, and Pazara Foundation. And uh, follow up. Thank you very much.